What's up, DFW? Welcome to a very merry holiday special brought to you by the District at Willow Bend. They say it's the most wonderful time of the year, but as we all know, that also means trips to the mall. But while you're checking everybody off your list, why can't you also treat yourself? There's one North Texas spot that has it all, and yes, that means treats too. The shops at Willow Bend have been reimagined with a $125 million makeover. You can shop the latest trends, keep the kids entertained at the Crayola Family Experience, or head over to their latest debut, the District at Willow Bend. It's a dining destination with some of the best restaurants in Dallas. Think Top Chef and James Beard Awards. Yes, that good. And if you think I wasn't gonna check them out after hearing that, yes again, because if you ask me, calories don't count in December. First up, I headed to Knife, where two-time Top Chef alum and four-time James Beard nominated John Tizar is melding modern and classic dishes. He was once called the single most talented cook I have ever worked with by the late Anthony Bourdain, and now he's reinventing the steakhouse experience by taking it back to its Texas roots. I'm here with John Tizar, and we are in Knife. It's really cool ambiance in here. There's knives on the wall. It's really an awesome restaurant. Well, I have a great designer that I work with, Breck, uh, and he uh, designed the first knife. When we got the offer to do this knife out in Willow Bend, I said I wanted to mix it up a little bit, and blue is my favorite color. So you see uh, my favorite color kind of exhibited in little dribs and drabs all over the place. How do you sit in here at the district at Willow Bend? Well, I think Knife, you know, we are kind of the anchor tenant here. Um, we were asked by the owners of the mall during this huge renovation to create the district to come here and establish a, kind of a cornerstone restaurant that people would want to come to and then also come see the mall at the same time. So um, Knife is really just a, a continuation of what we started in Dallas except uh, I own this one, we licensed the other one, and have a lot more freedom uh, to grow the menu and to do new and creative, interesting things all the time. So that's what I actually want to talk to you about. So you're a big name in Dallas for food. How are you reinventing the steakhouse? How are you doing things different here? Well, you know, I, when I started the original Knife, I went to every steakhouse around the country and saw what they were doing. Some of it was okay, and some of it was just kind of, I scratched my head and just going like very antiquated, kind of just like old fashioned in a sense. Um, and, and not a lot of culinary drive behind it. So what I did is I just kind of took the steakhouse and put the chef behind the wheel and then took all of these things that I learned around the country such as dry aging, developing white mold, offering more affordable steaks, you know, making it about sharing and more family style and family oriented, which is great for Willow Bend and Plano. So that's why we, we came out here to do this. What makes you passionate about food? When you look at a, a dish, what makes you think about how you're going to put it together. I think it's just DNA, you know, I, I, I'm kind <laughs> of like a, a fool's fool. I just kind of fall into things. And I fell into this profession very early, 17 years old and 61 now. So it's kind of all I know how to do. I'm like the Tony Hawk of chefs. And I still enjoy doing it every day. I'm, I don't believe in the celebrity culture we live in. I'm glad that people find me interesting and want to follow me and eat my food. But other than that, uh, just come here and have a good time. The rest is just about having fun. On the back side of Knife's main dining room is a meat locker where they keep the bodies. Okay, well, they're actually cuts of beef that are dry aging with white mold, some up to 240 days. But wait, there's more. Next to that, their butcher shop will help you stock up your steak supplies at home. And for a fast beef fix, just hit Knife Burger, where they're grilling up the famous Ozerski Burger. It's one of the best chefs in America, just whipping up burgers back here. No big deal. It could possibly be the simplest, yet most delicious burger you've ever tasted. And Chef Tizar let me behind the grill to find out why. All right, so tell me about these amazing burgers. Okay, so when we first opened the knife in Dallas, the hamburgers became a phenomenon. I can't tell you why, but they, they did. And I was writing our book, Knife Steakhouse Meals at Home at the time, and Joshua Zersky, who was the editor of Esquire magazine, unfortunately he passed away, but he was collaborating with me on the book. He was a hamburger expert. And before we opened Knife, we just talked about hamburgers all the time. So we, we came up with these computer steamers that actually cook a wow. burger precisely at 135 degrees. Yep, it's like a computerized burger sauna. After that, the 44 Farms 80-20 ground beef patties get a simple seasoning of salt and pepper. Then off to the grill they go. When it's done, it's going to come back to life, and it's going to be a juicy, perfectly end-to-end -end cooked medium hamburger. You can see when you break it open, it's just perfectly pink all the way through. You know, the reason why meat turns color is creatine is in the blood. It turns precise colors at precise temperatures. So that's where that whole thought process came in. And then you asked what's different about what we do. 
we actually think about it from the mind of the chef. For the simple 595 hamburger, it's still the same thought process that we would put into it. I love that you simplified it, but you also made it scientific. Yes. I love that. As for the burger build, they're keeping that simple too. A five ounce patty, two slices of American cheese, a thin slice of red onion on a squishy bun. The, the hamburger to us was like the great American hamburger. Mm -hmm. When you put all of those other things on it, it becomes a sandwich. If you take a bite of this burger and you taste that little bit of onion, you don't even need ketchup or anything. It's just about the burger. You put two slices of American cheese. You bring it back to the basics. You bring it back to basics, and I think that's that's what a hamburger is all about. It's like basic American food. Bring it back to basics and do it well. Yeah. Their burger is ready in just two minutes, which means it's time to taste test. That is the perfect burger. See, and look at that juice. Look at that juice dripping. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> I'm a ketchup lover. It doesn't need it. Oh, I've been converted. Josh would be a happy man today when you said you didn't need to put ketchup Ooh. on that burger. So. Good See, perfectly pink and juicy. We're very lucky, you know. Sometimes you can you can experiment with things. And sometimes you get it right. And we thought that knife burger would be a, a perfect perfect accompaniment to knife here in the Willow Bend Mall because it's a mall and there's a food court, but people walk around. So Mexican bar company has tacos across from us, and you can come here and get uh, one of the four or five knife burgers that we sell. So you can come here for lunch, yep. do your shabby done, and then head next door to knife for dinner. Yes, ma'am. And it's still in a beef for the whole day. Exactly. 595 Ozerski for lunch, and share a nice 80, 90 day dry aged steak for dinner. Sounds like a day. We'll make it a day. It's a burger how it should be, uncomplicated, juicy, and delicious. Just make sure you remember your napkin. I'm pretty sure Santa would be okay if we switched his cookies for one of those steaks. And if I've learned anything from the big guy, it's eat at one stop and then head to the neighbors for some more. So that's exactly what we did. Next door at the Mexican Bar Company, they're shaking things up. After the break, find out why they think the perfect drink is two parts naughty and one part nice. Welcome back to a special holiday edition of What's Up DFW. It's the time of year to spread cheer, so why not do it with a margarita? We headed to the Mexican Bar Company in the district at Willow Bend where they believe in a good pour, good food, and a great experience. I'm here with Hayes at the Mexican Bar Company, which is a fun, lively little spot if you ask me. What are you guys serving up in here? Uh, well, we have a very great new take on authentic Mexican. Uh, my chef partner, Patricio Sandoval, grew up in Acapulco and lives in Oaxaca. Uh, grew up in a restaurant family and just has such a passion for food at a very young age. His mom would take him to all the little markets, like the legendary markets of Mexico. Uh, little taquerias, cevicherias, and taste all the fresh, fresh produce, fresh uh, we made street tacos, and we kind of take that into the next level here at the Mexican Bar Company. So I grew up in Southern California. Mexican food is like one of my most favorite things. Mm -hmm. What should I come and order here? One of my personal favorites is our Camarón Ceviche. 12 different types of Mexican street tacos. And Love a taco. Everything's handmade. We have the tortillas are made to order. So each order, the tortillas are made fresh for that, those particular tacos. Uh, and then finishing out with one of the specialties to the house. So when I'm getting my meal, what if I'm a little thirsty? What should I get? Well, uh, I mean, hands down, our margarita is absolutely fantastic. Our house margarita is, has a little different twist, but everything we do here is freshly made. So all the juices are hand pressed. Uh, we use a great agave as a sweetener, so it's still a light or a skinny margarita, if you will. But the flavors are very well balanced. We also tend to pour a little heavier, so our, our margaritas are two ounces over the normal one and a half. So it definitely has a great balance and a great kick to it. I'll actually make one for us in a little bit. So you guys have a beautiful bar, but that's just a little bit of the great ambiance that you have going on here. Can you explain a little bit about the art and what you have? So obviously with the, the Mexican Bar Company, the bar is the heart of the restaurant, <laughs> and, it, and it pumps life throughout the restaurant. Uh, but you'll see on the walls, we had a, a good friend of ours, Ernie Valles, who's a uh, started street artist from New York uh, and has traveled all over the world, came in and did different murals for us. So if you look around behind us, we actually have the Texas flag on our back wall. Uh, over here, we have our Mexican flag. And then in our private dining, we represent the United States. Well, I think it's beautiful, and I think that it's a perfect complement to the dishes Thanks. and drinks. 
and I can't wait to get a margarita made for me. I am looking forward to it. So we're really just about the experience to try and taste a lot of different things. Uh, there is one thing, it's basically, if you try something, it's risk-free. If you don't love it, we replace it and switch it with something else. What is one thing that somebody said to you after they've left that has really stuck with you? Uh, well, I had a guest come up the other night, actually, and they told me, I was like, I don't remember everything we ate, but it was, I just remember it being the most amazing experience, and just thank you so much. And it went from the staff and how they engage with our guests and, and the whole sharing experience, which might be a little new to some people is coming to the center of the table and try a lot of different things. Uh, but they just left with such a great feeling they couldn't wait to make a reservation again. And it was a combination of the food, the cocktails, and the whole experience on how we take care of people. Managing partner Hayes snuck me into the kitchen where I got to wave hi to James Beard featured and very hardworking chef, Patricia Sandoval. Next up, Hayes made me one of their signature margaritas. What are we making right now? Beautiful. Well, today we're taking a, a little twist on our house margarita. I'm using a Fortaleza Reposado, which is 100% blue agave that's aged in aged oak barrels for six to nine months. Ooh. Little hints of vanilla, citrus. It really gives a great flavor. Uh, and like I said, our margaritas are a little different here than the typical. We, we enjoy the cocktail. So the simple <laughs> recipe is 2-1-1. Same. Right. So Enjoy the cocktail. Two strong, one sweet, and one citrus. So I'm doing two ounces of the Fortaleza. And this is a personal favorite? It is. It's uh, one of the house favorites. So then I have a fresh, this is a grandma. It's a secret mix. We call it the grandma mix. It's a mixture of Grand Marnier and a few other ingredients. Can't get it out of you, huh? Yeah. And then fresh agave. So we use a, a light agave nectar again, so it could be a, a skinny margarita if you like, no sugar. And then one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Skinny on the sugar, heavy on the tequila. Oh yeah, make the good stuff. But it should come out at a, at a perfect balance for us. My cheeks shake when I shake my cocktails. <laughs> That means you're doing it right. Exactly. So what we do here is everybody doesn't like salt or loves salt, so we do a half a rim. That way you can have it if you like it or avoid it if you don't. I'm a salt person. So. Yeah. Give it a little more shake. Shake. the true test, the taste test. Cheers. 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 That's a good margarita. Well, cheers to that, but we're not done yet. After the break, we're hitting up a spot that has a lunch buffet big enough to satisfy even Santa's appetite. What's up, DFW? If you're just joining us, we're jingling all the way down the new dining district at the shops at Willow Bend. We've already hit Knife and Mexican Bar Company, and up next is Terra, where they're using fresh ingredients to create authentic Mediterranean dishes. But it's what they're serving for lunch that's the real star. I'm here with Adam Shauna at Terra Mediterranean Grill, and you guys are doing some amazing dishes. If somebody maybe hasn't tried Mediterranean before and they're a little nervous, what can ease them in? I really... I can't think of anything that can go wrong. I mean, in the last 30 years, I, don't, I can count the people that didn't like Mediterranean on my fingers. And you guys do really fresh ingredients, we do, too, right? We do really fresh ingredients. Everything comes in almost every day. All the meats, everything is done here in house. Nothing's processed. Nothing's, all the meats are fresh, chicken, chicken. Everything's just coming fresh every day. So I know you guys do a great dinner, but I hear there's something really special you do at lunch that I've been told I have to come check out. We do a lunch buffet that's just out of this world. So what's one thing on the buffet that I definitely shouldn't skip? 
definitely got to be the how much it's just been stable for Alibaba and Terra Mediterranean for a long time, for the past 30 years. The hummus, the tabbouleh, uh, then you move on to the cauliflower, the saffron rice. I mean, everything really, chicken kebabs probably one of most seller also. You can't skip anything really, you have to try a little bit of everything. So the restaurant here is beautiful and I know you guys just opened up, so why is it such a good fit here? We've been, we've been looking and playing it for a while now. We thought it would be a really good fit for us, especially with the Willow Band with that beautiful outdoor space they built out. I think it just makes really makes a lot of sense. So what is one thing, one compliment that you've had, the best compliment you've ever had after somebody coming in and enjoying your food? It's gotta be during dinner service, probably be halfway through dinner, after finishing dinner, people ask to make a reservation for the next day. And I've had some customers had lunch in Alibaba, and this week had lunch in Alibaba and came here for dinner. Have you had somebody come to the lunch buffet and then come back oh, to dinner? absolutely. Get them all the time. That is a commitment to appetite. Time. Okay, I think we've been teasing you with the buffet long enough, so let's get to the food. The hummus and we got a Mediterranean salad, garlic sauce, some extra salads, the salads that we make every day, just daily salads, we move on. And once we're done with this side, we move on to the hot items. Every, um, everything comes out straight from the kitchen to the buffet. There's nothing that sits around and uh, saffron rice, saffron chicken, the vegetarian moussaka, falafel. These are the famous cauliflower. Oh, it everybody, smells everybody so good. The box, chicken, the beef, the gyros, the potatoes, roasted chicken. As you see, there's a lot of options for vegetarians, for meat eaters, for chicken, for everything you can imagine it's on the buffet. And all the breads comes out from that pizza oven that we cook fresh every day, every to order. I think what I'm really going to have to do is start working out more so that I can carry more plates <laughs> as I go through the buffet, because this looks amazing. It's a buffet so good, you're going to want to hit rewind and do it again. All good things come to an end, but I hope you're not full yet, because when we come back, we've got one more dining gift for you that's honey buttered and delicious. The shops at Willow Bend have everything you need to make sure everyone is excited when they get their gift, but at our next spot, they do their best to make sure everyone is excited when they get their dish, because at Whistle Britches, they're sticking to fried chicken. So I'm here with Scotty, and we're at Whistle Britches. Yeah. And there's one thing that's noticeably missing from Whistle Britches, and that's beef, because you guys do chicken here. We do. So what is so special about your chicken? It's just the love and care we put into it, um, our brine, the dredge, the way we prepare it. Um, our chef just really knows how to make anything taste good. I mean, it's great. So you guys do fried chicken and you're doing it right. Right. We do grilled chicken as well. How are you guys making it? What are you guys putting on the menu? What can I order? What should I order? Uh, definitely the chicken and waffles or the whistle britches, which is our signature sandwich. Uh, the boneless breast on our uh, buttermilk biscuit, honey butter, pepper jelly. It's what we're known for. So I may have sneak peeked your menu. Yeah. Do you guys have some creative sandwiches? We do. Can you tell me a little bit about what goes into those, how you come up with them? Well, the uh, sandwiches are the chef's creations. Um, the names are kind of a really good play on the sandwiches. The hot dang is, you know, a Nashville sauce, which is a little kick to it. The uh, Auntie Luann is, you know, like kind of your aunt's favorite with the pimento cheese and the uh, brioche bread, and uh, it's just uh, what we do. And our fun to order. Yes, exactly. So you guys also have some fun drinks as well here. I noticed you have boozy milkshake. We do. Which the, uh, I need to know what that is. Just a milkshake and we like to add a little uh, you know, alcohol to it. We do some uh, the uh, Baileys and Kahlua in one of them and we do a little bourbon in one of them. That's what we're known for is our bourbon. So you know, it goes great in the shake and the guests love it and uh, yeah. Milkshakes all too. grown up? All the way, I mean it's a dessert, it's a drink, it's a starter, whatever you want it to be, so. So what I love about it is walking in here, it feels like Kind of like you're walking into grandma's kitchen. Yeah, that's the whole like, thought of it. Tell me about how you fit into the district at Willow Bend and this new concept. Well, I mean, we're in Texas. Everyone loves Southern food. I'm, uh, you know, from the South originally, and, um, you know, I know great fried chicken and biscuits and vegetables and everything here is fresh and made from scratch. Um, one of the things that I love that we do is our uh, chef does our homemade um, jams, and we make them, you know, almost every other day. He makes all of our pickles in-house. So, I mean, everything is like you would get at your grandmother's house, so. What's one thing that you love to hear when people come in for the first time? 
uh, just kind of that like the the wow factor when they walk in and see it, and um, you know it, it's a it's a unique restaurant, it's a unique decor, um, it's a great fit for Plano, and this you know the shops at the Willowbin Mall is beautiful, and I think we fit in great, and everyone seems to really really love coming, and you know we have another location as well, so it's just a, you know kind of a next step in our business and what we're doing. It's kind of like coming to your family's it kitchen. Is. It's like coming to you know Sunday dinner is the way I like to look at it. Love that. Yeah. Well, I think we should just come hang out, family. Exactly. Get some chicken. Bring some friends, we're known for brunch, that's what we really, really do. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a great place to come with friends and family and celebrate special occasions, whatever. Whistle Birches really does feel like family, so I did what I do best at my house, pulled up a chair and got ready to eat. Scotty was even nice enough to scramble me up some goodies in the kitchen. Get it? Scramble? Okay, okay, that was the last egg joke. First up was Whistle Birches' take on one of the South's favorite spreads a pickled jalapeno pimento cheese. Say that five times fast. Up next, another southern staple, buttermilk biscuits. They're light, fluffy, and served with seasonal jam like this pineapple orange marmalade. Yum. My favorite probably made Santa's naughty list, but these deviled eggs were oh so good. Oh, and if you've been eyeing that pretty pink drink, it's a pomegranate rosé that tastes as good as it looks. Sadly, it was my time to go, but not before checking some Christmas shopping off my list. Apparently, I'm not the only one with chicken jokes. So I'm pretty sure a boozy milkshake is the gift I didn't know I needed in life. The district is a perfect place to make some holiday memories with your family and get a good meal. And hey, what's better than eating amazing food and then having somebody else do the dishes? You can check out all the restaurants at the district as well as the shops at Willow Bend by logging on to shopwillowbend.com. Check out the latest happenings, browse menus, plus don't miss out on some of the very special events they'll have this holiday season. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I'm Perrin Jones and that's what's up, DFW. The shops at Willow Bend are conveniently located at 6121 West Park Boulevard, right off the Dallas North Tollway in Plano.